good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to make an awesome three-dimensional game that you can play with somebody anywhere else in the world. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, real quickly, this is going to be called Cadnect 4. When you play, you simply duplicate, which you could use this button, but I'm going to do Control D, and then you use the arrow keys to move to the location you want. To do this successfully, you'll want to switch to 5mm nudge. So I've done some math for you that to get to each hole is only 3 clicks, or 15 millimeters. To go up, if you hold control, you can lift it up. Also, if you use the cones, because of that nudge, you can see it is easy as well. If you've never played Connect 4 before, you simply have to get 4 in a row, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally before your opponent. I'm going to duplicate again. I'm kind of cheating and letting red go first. You can move to any location. You cannot do this. They must be stacked. If you ever get one in the air, you can hit D to instantly drop it to the bottom. And then you just keep duplicating as you move all your parts until somebody finally wins. Here you can see a finished example game. Yellow was trying to win vertically or diagonally, but red was able to get their four in a row first. That's what a completed game would look like. When you're done completing the game, you would simply hide it and delete all the parts that aren't original. When you hit show, boom, your game board is back ready for another game. So friends, let me show you quickly how to build it. Start by bringing out a box, and I'm going to tell you the perfect measurements are 110 millimeters across, and then we only want it to be 5 millimeters thick. I chose 102, and I'll show you why in a minute, for the height. You can see those are identical. I'm going to choose blue just because it stays consistent. All right, let's make the part for the holes. We're going to bring out just a plain cylinder, and then I want you to simply type 10 in the two sides for the size of it. You could shrink it with the handles as well. And then we need it to be 5 millimeters thick for the rest of our project. We're going to make this a hole because it's what we're going to cut it out with. And we need to zoom in so we can see it better, look at it from a corner, and stand it up. Now we can zoom back out to the whole project. And we want to grab these two objects and we want to align them. When we align, let's align to the blue one and let's go right to the edge of it. And let's go right to the middle of it. Make sure you have your 5 millimeter nudge on. We're also going to drop it to the bottom height. And then we're going to move in one click. If you're having trouble selecting the hole, just hide the blue part for a moment. And then nudge it with the arrow key one click. So now you can see it in place. We're going to do control D. And we're going to go control up one, two, three clicks. Without touching anything else, if you do duplicate again and again and again, you'll see that there are seven in a row and they end right at the top, which is perfect. Let's hide that shape again. Let's look at the whole project from the top and let's grab just those parts. Go back to a corner view and this is really, really cool. We're going to do control D, one, two, three to the left. Now if we do control D without touching anything else, we can make seven of those in a row. I'm going to just move the mouse but not touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we are good to go. If we hit show, you can see that fits perfectly on our grid. We do want to keep one of these little pieces. So I'm going to hide this for a second. And I'm going to click on one of those and I'm going to do control D and I'm going to nudge him over for later. Now when we do show all, I'm going to look at it from the top again because that's the easiest way to grab them. I've got all those parts, 50 shapes, and if we hit group, you will see that our game board has just been created. I'm going to delete my old one just because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to take the first piece and I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to do control D to make the yellow piece. Notice they're in the same spot so it'll move when I hit the arrow keys. And then I am going to line this one up. So I'm grabbing these two items. And if I go from the blue to the right edge, notice because of the math I did, it takes one click to get it in. So if I do one, two, three clicks, it's outside. I'll go a fourth just for good luck. 
I'm going to grab these two right here. Notice it's just touching them. I'm going to do a line again, and I want to line them up with the blue. And I'm going to do the same thing, one, two, three, to have it lined up outside the shape. And I can delete these. So that's how quick you can build the game board before you play. Remember, it's Control D, arrow keys to nudge where you want, or Control Up if you're stacking them. If you ever move the wrong way, Control Z is undo. If you ever accidentally put them in the air without anything underneath, D to drop is the shortcut. Alrighty friends, now that you got your game board built, let me show you how to play. The first thing I'd like you to always remember is don't give away your perfect game board. Always get in and make a copy. That way if somebody wrecks your stuff, it's not a problem. So simply hit duplicate and then from that game board, you simply hit the send to button. When you click send to, scroll down to the bottom and you can choose invite, generate a new link and copy the link. Once you've got that link, you can share it with them with email or whatever you use to DM people. And once they click that link and sign in, they will be able to play a three-dimensional game of Connect Four with you. The only catch is you're not able to interact with each other as you'll play. You'll have to do that on your phones or something so you can chat about whose turn it is and maybe even trash talk as you play. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.